Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Thurn Salman has got selections here for Saturday, December 23rd. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap what happened yesterday. We had a nice winner in the NBA with the Nuggets minus four and a half at minus 110 on bet online. Wasn't easy. The game was actually a war the entire way through. And I was actually at the game, which was pretty entertaining. But the Nuggets did make enough clutch free throws at the end to win the game by five. So not easy, but still counts. Look for the winner here on Saturday. And for today's play of the day, going to switch to football. We're going to look at an NFL game between the Bills and the Chargers taking place at around 8 p.m. Eastern time. And for this game, the Bills are laying a big number on the road, laying 12. And we're going to take it. We're going to take the Bills minus 12 at minus 110 on DraftKings. Time recording of 2.30 a.m. Eastern time. Covering why we're going to take the Bills minus the big number here. First reason, the Bills have been in much better form lately while the Chargers have fallen off a cliff. The Bills have won three of their last four, including a road win against the Chiefs. And a home win that was dominant against the Cowboys last week. So the Bills, we know, had high expectations entering the season. They underachieved early on. And it does seem like this team is starting to round into form and to look like the potential Super Bowl candidate we were expecting them to be when the season started. But the Bills have looked like a top four team in the league over the last couple of weeks, while the Chargers have been abysmal. They've lost five of their last six, including a completely embarrassing blowout loss against the Raiders in their last game as they lost 63 to 21. That score might be misleading because it was a lot uglier before garbage time. The Raiders in that game led 42 to nothing at the half. They led 63 to 7 a minute into the fourth quarter. So a reminder that Raiders team scored zero points the week before against Minnesota. They scored 63 against this team. Two defensive touchdowns, but still O'Connell, who has been struggling so far this season, had four touchdowns, and Kobe Myers also had a touchdown. Uh, throw. So the point is they got absolutely they got whatever they wanted through the air, and that's a bad passing attack that the Raiders have. Buffalo, with all the weapons they have, should be able to get whatever it wants, and I think you're looking at a spot where even though the Chargers did end up firing their head coach in Brandon Staley, which was definitely deserved, Giff Smith is the new interim coach. Is it going to matter? Maybe for morale initially, but the talent simply isn't there with all the injuries they have, and Buffalo playing great in uh, really just good form right now I think it's going to be too much for the Chargers to handle. But speaking of the injuries, the Chargers will be missing Nick Bosa, Keenan Allen, and Justin Herbert. Arguably the three best players on the entire team are not going to be playing. And Eason Stick did start last week, and he was awful. Now, to go through the numbers, his overall numbers were not bad. Once again, context does matter. So they had, they had uh, zero points in the first half, down 42 nothing. They had a blown coverage touchdown, which went to Palmer for 79 yards. So that was basically a gift a free 79 yards, and then the rest was in garbage time, where the Raiders were playing full prevent, and most of Stick's production came against a prevent defense down 50. So Stick's overall numbers were not bad, but if you watch the game, he's not a starting quarterback. Uh, he was really bad for the majority of that game, and the Bills should be able to get after him because they've been very good at pressuring opposing quarterbacks as they're currently averaging the fifth most sacks per game. Now, they were able to get after Prescott a couple of times in that Cowboys game last week. To go through those numbers... Dak did end up getting sacked three times, threw a pick, and he had 134 passing yards. But you're looking at what the Bills did offensively. Josh Allen really didn't have to do anything because they ran the ball down Dallas's throats. They ended up having 266 rushing yards and three rushing touchdowns. Allen had one passing touchdown, but only seven completions. The Bills, simply put, are playing great football, and I do think there was a couple ways to exploit this Chargers defense. Either on the ground, we saw Zamir White score last week, for example, or through the air. But I do expect Diggs and Davis to get going again after being relatively quiet last week by just game flow in general. But Buffalo is also motivated for this game. You can argue that it's a look-at spot since Buffalo is in great form, beating some great teams, but they really can't afford to look ahead because they're only 8-6, and six, and the AFC wildcard race is definitely a war. Uh, you're looking at the Bills potentially getting closer to clinching a spot or even getting a shot at the division because they're only two games behind Miami. The final game of the season is against Miami, so they got a shot at it. They already won the first meeting, so they definitely can catch the Dolphins, so they cannot afford any slip-ups whatsoever. They've been gifted a very easy schedule to end the year leading into that Miami game, and I do think Buffalo is going to be motivated to not only win, but to win by margin in this game. Now, to go through the home field advantage for the Chargers, it does not really exist because they have been really bad at home. They've lost four of their last five home games. The only win was against Tyson Badgent, which you can argue doesn't count because Badgent isn't a real starting quarterback. But the Chargers, we know, don't really have any fans. The Bills do, and they travel very well. We know Bills Mafia is very passionate. 
potentially the most passionate fan base in the entire league. They're going to bring their tables to break in this matchup. But the Chargers, after losing by 42 last week, I don't expect many home fans in the stadium. I think it's going to be mostly Bills fans. They're going to storm it, and I think you're going to end up seeing a home field disadvantage for the Chargers in this game. But simply put, give me a Bills team that's been playing at a top four team in the league level over the last month or so against the Chargers team that is in the middle of rock bottom using a backup quarterback who I don't think is very good, and I do think who might turn the ball over a bunch in this game. But Buffalo should be able to win this game by at least 14 points if they're engaged. I think they're going to be. I think they win this game comfortably. Split that once again here for Saturday, December 23rd. is going to be on the Bills minus 12 and minus 110 on DraftKings. Bye, everyone.